Hi, my name is Jonas and I'm bringing you another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial and this time I will take a look at how to tackle some of the problems with uh, a true first-person view. So inside, inside our level we have our character and we can go into first-person view. So once into first-person view, uh, when we look down uh, there's some kind of clipping going on and we need to fix this. So one way of fixing this is to go to the settings and on the project settings on the general settings you can find this uh, near clip plane and you can set that. I tried as far as down to 5 and uh, that helps quite a bit. Um, remember to close uh, Unreal uh, Engine uh, first otherwise it won't take effect and then you just open up your project again. All right. So when we try this again and zoom all the way in and look down, you can see the clipping is way uh, closer now. But we have a problem now because our head is kind of in the way of the camera. And um, so what maybe we can fix this by moving the camera a little bit forward. Um, so let's try this. Um, we have some values here, let's still go with the 5 here and then maybe stick it out 20. So, uh, li this looks really good. This is a very good view. So, if we pick up a weapon though, there's a kind of a problem, I think. Um, well, to start with, it, the, cam the gun is kind of taking up all the space in the view uh, right now um, but that's not really the big problem the problem is if I get close to a wall uh, I can actually look through the wall because my camera is actually a little bit too much forward so I need to put this back at somewhat so I tried for example like 10 centimeters forward and see how this looks from here and now we have some clipping going on and from here it looks almost okay but we don't have any clipping anymore so 10 would be a pretty good um, value to go with I did want kind of want to have like 5 so um, let's try that out again let's go back to 5 So from inside here, now we have a lot of clipping, uh, clipping with the head going on, but now the we can see our hands more clearly, and we can also see uh, more of the gun, and I kind of like this. Um, and we don't stick our head inside anything. So uh, one thing that, that really bugs me is that I can't really look down myself anymore, and that's kind of a, a bummer. Um, but that's actually the only thing that's uh, really too bad about this. Um, in order to fix some of this, I prepared a little thing down here. Uh, let's pull this one up and I plug this in. Uh, let me explain what this does. So I made a little function called uh, set player camera pitch uh, limits. So saying that if I'm in inside first person view, and I want to limit the, uh, the angle that I can look to let's say 60 degrees down and 90 degrees up but when I'm in third person I want to have the full uh, um, mobility of the camera I've set this to uh, 98, um, 89 uh, because um, if I set it exactly to 90 it makes some kind of flickering uh, so yeah that's just why I use these values. So inside this function, um, what I do is to get the player controller by using the function get controller and casting this to player controller. And I use this to feed into the player camera manager. Um, and then I set the view pitch minimum and view pitch maximum, which takes the values I uh, feed into these two um, input variables. So this is just what this function does. 
So um, if I plug this in to my camera view, I already did that. Yep, great. Um, we should see that I can move all the way up down here. But once I get into my first person, I have a limited uh, degree that I can move down. Still, my head is kind of in the way. And um, well, if you wanted to go with um, with uh, this say twelve, maybe uh, this is not really a problem because now you can look down yourself, and it's looking pretty good. It's acceptable and well and if you can live with the fact that the gun is pretty f close to you then this is all good but uh, we have another option and i will explain this in the next tutorial so stay tuned and until then bye bye